Hey everybody, Wandering Kid here. Welcome back to my playthrough of Space Chem. We're on Secretar and we're going to take on the level Falling in this episode. Now Falling has a challenge. The challenge is to complete Falling on Secretar using two reactors. We come into the board. We get a H2O uh, producer and we've got a storage tank of Krypton. Our target is to create Yttrium, Zirconium, and Niobium. Krypton is atomic weight 36, Yttrium is 39, Zirconium is 40, and Neobium is 41. For reference, Oxygen is 8, Hydrogen is 1. So your hints for this board, your ratios are off. You're going to have to overproduce one of the targets. Second hint, to do this in two reactors, both reactors are going to have to be fusion reactors. Third hint, you're going to want to produce Zirconium from Oxygen. Okay, so let's uh, tackle the board. Our first thing we're going to need to do is put a fusion reactor up here. What we're going to do is we're going to split down the water. And my outputs, I want to be zirconium and hydrogen for my other reactor. So we're in here, we've got water. And we don't care where the kryptonium goes. Now this first component's going to look a bit messy, but let me walk you through it. So we're going to do an end, we're going to grab it on the oxygen. The problem is, is this layout here doesn't really work for how we actually want to manipulate it over here in general. But if I come this way, I can make it work. So I'm going to grab that way, I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to do an unbond here. That will leave me hydrogens in this and this position. Now, I'm going to come down this way. I'm going to drop it, flip it, wait for it, it'll make sense. This actually needs to be a grab drop. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and fuse it. If I don't fuse it, I want to come back, grab it again, and then put it into the right position. This means that if this was blank, I just move the oxygen over. Next up, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to grab our hydrogen that we... Oops. It's not the one I wanted to grab. I'm going to have blue handle everything else from this point, I think. Now, I can't do that because blue's got to be on a sync route to know when to um, kick out crypt uh, Kryptonium. Or Zirconium, excuse me. Krypton is down here. Zirconium's over there. So, that's fine. What we're going to do is we're going to put a sync in here to tell blue that it can advance. And I'll deal with blue here in a moment. We'll do a grab here. We'll do an out on Psy. The problem is, is I don't want to drop here before I've unbonded. So we're going to switch things here around a little bit. There we go. And we'll do another out on Psy. What this does end up doing is it puts my hydrogen up against this wall here, but I can work with that somewhere else. So we're going to put hydrogen there. This will get our zirconium, which isn't on our list. And it doesn't really matter, but I guess I should tell it where it's actually supposed to go. Um, unfortunately... Unfortunately, there we go. What just happened here? That doesn't need to be there. There we go. And this is kind of a messy layout. So let's take a look at how it works. Our in comes in, we grab it. We do an unbond. We try not to run over ourselves. We drop it off. We attempt to fuse. We grab drop. Do it again. Um, I forgot to tell blue to sink. Two, three, four, five. Do an out on Omega and then sink again. So it unbonds, it grabs, drops, attempts to fuse, moves it over, sinks up. And I don't have a long enough pipeline at the moment. 
There we go. Try that again. We drop it off. Just making sure I'm getting what I expected to out of this. Aha. That needs to be drop only. Okay, so we've got zirconium. Hit our last sink. Blue tells it to ship. Gonna hit our one of twenty here in a moment. There it goes. And the process starts over again. Okay, so we are now producing zirconium and we have hydrogen. Now we need another fusion reactor. So in this one, we've got Krypton coming in, and we're building out our hydrogen. We're going to produce some yttrium, and we're going to produce some niobium. Simple enough. We're going to put our setup here for the hydrogen, and what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to have red and blue alternate between doing yttrium and niobium, because we don't have other options at the moment, because we're going to have to do crossovers. And what I mean by crossovers is this. So red's gonna come in, it's gonna bring in a beta. It's gonna grab it. And it's gonna come up here and it's gonna have to drop it off for a little bit because it's going to build out yttrium, which is 39. So we need three hydrogens. Now, because this is a production level instead of a research level, we have inconsistent flow. So what we did on the last board where we had one of our Waldos doing in and the other one doing fuses, we can't be sure we're always going to have an in for the fuse to trigger correctly on. So we don't want to try and fight with that. I'm going to tell Blue to just hang out for a second down here. So what we're going to have to do is go and get, do in fuse, in fuse, in fuse. So we know we want three of them. And then we're going to come back and that needs to be a grab drop. Because what we're going to do is we're going to turn it into a trium, come over here, drop it off, ship it out, and cycle back in. Now once we know red is done with its process, we can tell blue it can start. Now blue is going to build us niobium. Same general idea, but we're going to alternate how we set this up just a hair. So we're going to grab here. Now this time I'm going to come up this way and do a grab drop because it needs a longer loop. So in, 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 in. Mm, I need one more fuse in there. So everybody back this way one. And fuse, 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 four, five. And we're going to come this way. Drop it off. Ship it out. Now I gotta turn all these to alphas. There we go. Now once that's done, we can tell red it can start again. Um I'm missing a sink for blue. So that sink starts this blue. That sink goes to this blue. Actually that should work out fine. So we grab our Krypton, we wait for our hydrogens to start pumping down. So we've gotten up to strontium, which is 38. One more hydrogen and we'll get up to 39. There it goes, we've got yttrium. Blue now starts its process while red waits. That's got our niobium, and red has begun its process, while blue waits. So all of this really relies on us getting hydrogen out of here as quickly as possible. The problem is, is how do you know when you've got Krypton here without using blue as some kind of counter? Before I start trying to figure out how to optimize this, what I want to do is, is I do want to take a look at what kind of speed I get out of this build before we go. 
So let's take a look at it. Twenty-four fifteen is not bad. It gets us our two uh, reactor completion, and it gets us through in a reasonable amount of cycles. Um, twenty-four fifteen is certainly not a bad number of cycles for this board, which will lead us to our next two boards, which is our optional challenge of applied fusion and exploding head syndrome, which is our boss fight. But let's take a look at this for a second. So there's one pretty obvious optimization out of the gate. And that's to remove red having to deal with putting oxygen over if it didn't fuse up. So let's get that portion out of the out of the game here. So if I strip that, I put the fuse here. Oops. And I put it back into its cycle here. I remove a whole lot of cycles from this side of the world. The only problem is, is I also just lost my sink which would be okay as long as I have blue timed correctly to deal with the issue. So if I put my sink here, it means I'm gonna to have to be careful with what I do with blue, but that's not a horrible thing. So if I put blue in here, let's strip this out. I put blue here, I know I synced here, it's gonna grab, drop, and attempt to fuse. But on the first time through on this process, I'm going to want it to move the oxygen for me. So I cut, whoops. So I know it's synced, you're grab dropping, so I'm going to grab drop, come this way, and drop it for you. That's on my first sync. And now it's gonna come down here and I'm gonna have it wait. So now it needs three more cycles. We've got an oxygen there, so we know we need three cycles before it does anything else. That will bring me up to, uh, let me see, I'm building zirconium. That'll bring me, should bring me to ger germanium. And now once it sinks, I need it to grab, drop, and fuse. So I need it to have at least two cycles doing nothing. Okay, so that's one, that's two, that's three, that's four. I need this to happen on the fifth sink, so that's here. So as I was saying, I need it to have two cycles doing nothing. I'll give it a little bit of bonus room and let it do an out there. Let me show you how this works. It comes through, it sinks up, they grab drop, it moves oxygen over for red. Now we're going to go through this a few more times. Okay, we're up to germanium. Now on this last one, we're going to bring the oxygen in. The sink's going to trigger, red, blue's going to start moving, and there it goes. So now we've shipped out zirconium and we removed a number of cycles from red from having to do this loop every freaking time. And that took out a massive component from our cycle base. We're now down to 1817. I've also put in one extra symbol, but that's okay. Now I'm going to take a look at this for a second and see if there's any other obvious way to clean this up. Well, there is one obvious way, and that's to remove a symbol, because we don't really need it. So that gets rid of one of our symbols, and we end up with basically the same process, just on a slightly larger loop down here. Now, I suppose I could thin up the loop and put things over this way, but this works out. Because I could do this with it as well. Same number of symbols, just slightly different, differently organized. So I'm going to call this good. Oops, I didn't mean to hit that, but that's okay. So we're at 1817. Uh, I want to do one final walkthrough in the process, just so I have my solution at the end of the video, like I've been trying to do. So here's the solution to falling with two reactors for an 1817 cycle uh, completion. Our first reactor is going to split up water. It's going to take an oxygen-hydrogen, break it down. We're going to sync up with blue, so blue knows what it's doing. It's going to move hydrogens out into an export. Blue is going to basically have a timer of sinks on it so that it knows when we've built zirconium. 
So we're just going to move along the sinks, and it's going to handle the out. It also handles our grab drop to move things over so that red isn't overworking itself. Down here, we have red and blue alternating between building Yttrium and Neobium. We'll start with red. Once we get it, there we go. The red comes through, grabs a Krypton, drops it off, and it's going to start doing infuse cycles. And the reason this has to do an infuse cycle instead of having blue do the fuse for the reds in and vice versa is because it's a production level and we can't be sure when we're going to have hydrogen, so we want red to wait until it's good. So that drops that off. Now blue's going to go through and do a larger infuse build. Because so, Yttrium's 39, Neobium is 41, and we're going to need two extra hydrogens to build a Neobium. And I said we're going to overbuild. We're going to overbuild Yttrium and Neobium compared to building Zirconium. Because we're going to have extra hydrogens compared to how many oxygens we needed. That gets to 1817, 79 symbols, two reactors. And that completes the challenge for Fallen. As always, thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this episode, please leave a like or a comment. They're always appreciated, and I'll see you next time.